Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry Primal. We're back. Back in the New York groove. Badger skin, man, what the hell? Where's my pouch? There it is. Please tell me you put some skins in here, y'all. Damn it. Again, if anyone's listening. It'd be cool if what perks you got would influence what drops do you get in the thing. Especially if there are perks that influence drops. I don't know that that isn't what happens, but, you know. Uh, not yet. Whose hut did I have upgrades for? Yeah. Oh, she's happy. That's good. That's... <sighs> Rare items. Hell yeah. And 3,000 XP. And then Silas is maxed out. And Wool Guys is about to be maxed out. Hell fucking yeah. His is over here. That I vaguely remember. Yeah, I called the white wolf a while ago. Is this it? Yeah. It just occurred to me that this is a game without money. And like that already occurred to me, but like it occurred to me again. That's wild. Bomb bag, you say? I have five? Hot ziggity. Um, let me think here. So that's four. That gives me four and six. Woof! Health regeneration. That's kind of the, the most useful. And then I'll get that since that's a prerequisite for some other things I need. Alright. So we're gonna talk to everyone and then presumably unlock some other things. So I'll start itself. What up, dude? Mama Fatty. Fucking nobody calls me Takar. I'm the Beastmaster, I'm Piss Man, I'm Mammoth Feet. That's a true story, by the way. Dire wolves were real. Askawata. <laughs> Bitch, he is me. Uh huh. Your original hunting party. Huh. Yeah, we're doing that next. We're gonna zoom in and talk to people, though. And yeah, we picked up almost everything. Karush. Uh huh. What you got there? You got a little root? All right. Let me 
try to think of my route here. Let's hit this on our way south. Now, I love you, but is there a way? Can you just like wait there? I've got some, that he's got some stuff to do. Yeah, big slide. Gotta start collecting wood again. Oh, never mind. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, and it's nearly night as well. Visible little fish sneaking my way through the river, never gonna hurt anyone. Hey, it's a canoe. Hoping that one of these is gonna be a leopard. God, at this point I'd take a leopard seal. Oh god. What happened? Oh, this happened. There's a bunch of infighting. Saved your life. That's what I thought. Beads. They're useful and fun. for Tarzan's parents, motherfucker. Is that apparently the tiger? Or the, the leopard or jaguar or whatever it was that killed Tarzan's parents has a name? It's also a female. If you ask me, that's some Star Wars ass lore. Ooh, rock dust. Perfect. Actually, I can just light it up here, right? Hell yeah, environmentally friendly. Oh, doy. Just scoot along here. And then inch my way up like a little silkworm. Interesting. I wonder why that is. 
what those little things are doing there. Cool. Love that. Something shimmery, slate. I haven't noticed, if they do, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't noticed that the Dacia hands actually make a little noise. Because in Far Cry 3, uh, things did make a noise, and it was pretty useful. You know, they would just make, you know, a little, little chant that would get louder as you got nearer. And that's cool. Nice. Jaguar skin, wolf skin, deer skin. I'm almost full to bursting with wolf skin. Like, yeah, I keep thinking, like, oh, yeah, I'll just sell my wolf skin whenever I don't need it. And then I'm like, wait. But I, uh... All right, cool. Cave complete. But, yeah, again... The like shocking realization that there is no money system in this game. Can I just quick travel out of here? It spawned me looking into the cave, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fate worse than death. Right. Set the stone watch bonfire. I wanted that on off of fire. Man, if you could have multiple beasts in this game, that'd be a hashtag game changer. Like just being able to command beasts in general and like ride them, that's that's dope as fuck. But, like, if you had a fucking party, like, you had, like, a healer rhinoceros and, like, a tank hippo or something. Uh, there you go. You're a good boy, Gandalf. Actually, I guess you're Gandalf, too. Actually, I guess you're Gandalf 3. This is a sneaking mission. Whoops! At the wrong button. A little messy, could have been cleaner, but you know what? That's okay. Let's take a look at the stash. <gasps> Willy rhinoceros. I don't really need that. Rare sow stone. Rare yak skin. North Clay, Rare North Cedar, Oros Blood. Oh, I actually do need Woolly Rhino skin. That's great, then. 
need tall elk skin. Fucking rare feathers. Brown bears? Yeah, okay. What the hell? Did that thing just start flying? <laughs> it's a good game, but maybe it could have been put together a little better. There's a lot of dudes over here. Oh, that was it. In Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, there was a mechanic I really liked. Who the fuck? Get him. Anyway, in Metal Gear Solid 5, there was a mechanic I really liked. Where if you were carrying um, the corpse or uh, unconscious body of a soldier... From a distance, soldiers would confuse you for one of their own. That was really cool. Because, like, it made sense. All the soldiers had on these large ponchos that were a specific color and material. And you couldn't just, like, get one. But you just, like, having it on you, because, like, you were carrying a soldier made it look like you were wearing one enough that, like, from a distance they would confuse you sometimes and it would give you, like, a little, a little edge in, uh, sneaking. I always thought that was really cool. So I think it would be cool if, when carrying bodies, particularly, like, you know, if it's an Udam or a Izila body, you'd get a little bonus towards I'm here to help Oh man He he kill stole my kill steal Anyway, sorry. But, like, if you were carrying, like, an Azila body, people would be like, Oh, I see the blue painted skin and the large man. That must be an Azila. You know, a big one, but an Azila, all the same. Oh, that's so cool. Should not have counted, though. <laughs> lot of, lot of, lot of... Spazzing out in glitches this episode. Not that it's bad. There are a lot of Udam around here. She's a Pete's. Gotta say, Gandalf 2 and or 3. You are a scary motherfucker. Alright. It's time to make peace. Oh my god, it's a mammoth. I was wondering why I was, like, vibrating when I stepped. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Oh, wow, cool. You can just make them kill their own. Useful. Yeah, like, I don't know if there are any, like, guides that's, that tell you how to get mammoth skins, but, like, the easiest way to get mammoth skins in this game is absolutely to learn how to ride a mammoth. And then either kill things as a mammoth until you wear down the health, or kill other mammoths with your mammoth. Oh, this is a new this is new tech I'm discovering right here, but you could also just run him into a little corner. Get him stuck somewhere. Whoops. Thank you. So you get animal hide and mammoth skin from a mammoon. That's useful. I like that. I like that animal hide in the generic and the specific skins are separate items, but you can get both of them from one kill. I find that pretty useful. Gonna need some of that, huh? <laughs> Alright. Oh wow, this is the like proper start of the game, isn't it? You know, this just occurred to me, but isn't it kinda cool how bears are omnivorous? You know, they're not picky. They're like, mm, I'm a bear. I need a, I need calories to feed my big bear body. And all that matters to me is that they are calories. That's why they eat, like, such protein-dense things, like fish. Uh, dude, you're supposed to stay... Fuck. No, stop. There. I'm gonna get a new animal. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Just like the time it takes to make something like these, like these things are all so cool to me. Gotta think of a name for my new, my new pack member. Good. He's staying where he is. And he'll be like in my pocket, you know? I mean, I named my other one Gandalf because I like offhandedly quoted Gandalf when I brought him back from the dead. God, that big ice sheet is so cool. Of course, we needed this thing to actually, like, get back up there because we fell. And now we've returned to the level of where we once were. That's so cool. It looks like there were people living in here at some point. So cool. It's very atmospheric as well. Oh man, really?
This is a big old cave, man. Oh shit. He knew my name. My actual name, no less. <laughs> we go to its arena. It's so dope. Can be tamed, but must be defeated first. Woods inflicted on great beast carried to your next hunting attempt. That's a cool mechanic. I like that a lot. Nailed it. Bloody paw prints. Big bloody paw prints. That's so cool. Wow, so this is a whole thing over here. Great Scar Bear. And Erky the Thinker. Blood Tusk Mammoth. Dope. Area is huge. This is much larger than I anticipated. I thought this was going to be like essentially a boss arena for me to go try to tame him. And you're back with with me, huh? That is a far away man. Ring wall encounter camp or something it said? That makes sense. It, it's like we're at the inside of a ring. That's funny. It actually is a thing in the world. Now that I'm actually getting, like, bombs and shit, I am going to need to spec my owl into being able to throw those. Because that's a really useful sounding ability. If you click the left stick, he actually speeds up. Pardon me. Whoops. Of those down there. Well, they just spawned in out of nowhere. Shit. 
Come on, you. What the hell happened over there? We fought heavies, huh? really expensive. Just do this one. Oh, he's not going to make it. Damn, those things are heavy. Rip in peace, dude. Is that a torso there? Oh. That's funny, I hadn't seen that yet. The proper breaking animation. Improvements to the fire tech is nice. <laughs> oh, come on. That guy got it pretty rough. All right. Okay. I don't like it down here, but I could be persuaded. called Kapala shards. It makes me think of the Kevala. That reminds me. Anything else I can grab in here? Crowd sprint. I can grab quite a few actually. Skinning two. Extra skinnage. There you go. <laughs> yep, still caught me on fire. Moving away from. Okay, now we're. Now You see a Mr. Mercury. Why have I never heard uh, Mr. Bad Guy as opposed to I am the bad guy? And holy shit, what a downgrade. Comparatively. 
Still can't believe Billie Eilish, like, is singing the new Bond song. Like, she doesn't care about James Bond. Actually, she's British, isn't she? She might. But, like, James Bond is, like... It's like an old people movie, you know? People don't really watch James Bond. This is the second rant about James Bond I've had now that I think of it. Yeah, people don't often watch James Bond anymore. Those movies are thought of as old people movies. And, like, I wonder if they went out of their way to pick Billie Eilish for, you know, the person singing the new Bond song. Because, like, hey, teens like her. You know, maybe we'll get people interested in Bond movies again. Probably the new James Bond movie took, like, 16, or, like, I think it was, like, 60 million dollars to make. And now they can't do anything with it. Because the issue is like they're trying to uh, they're trying to like put it onto streaming, but they're like, hey, we need to make back sixty million dollars. So we're asking for or no, maybe it's thirty million they spent, and it costs. They're asking for like sixty million to put on. Oh hey, uh, that guy that I missed. There we go. I don't know how to make the hunt easier. Nice. Ring wall outpost, yep. And it's like, guys, stop spending that much money on movies. Like, the reason that people blew the fuck up over Blair Witch was not because it was about annoying teenagers or a shitty camera, but it's because the ratio of how much money it cost to make that movie versus how much money it made is ridiculous. Because they made it with spare change, pennies, and like a student camera, you know? Whoops. Did that thing again. Oh, wait. I can just shortcut my way down. But yeah, they made it with like cheap shit, you know? Udam Prashwa. Uda mask. Yeah, Yay, slides. Yeah, like they made it with complete shit, and most of the people in that movie were in that movie because they lived in the area where it was being shot. Red on black. Kill Jack. Or is it friend of Jack? I hate mnemonics that don't actually help me remember things. Like, it's called a stalagmite, because you might trip. Or it might fall on your head. No? You're not aiding me here, Jack. Oh, shit, I was playing for so long that it's morning again. Now it's not night. Shit. But yeah, like, I, I saw that, um... I was talking about it with a friend. But, like, they spent, like, $200 million on just a random Gennaro movie. Oh, Badger Skins, yes. A random generic movie, but it had Chris Evans in it or something. I think it might have had two uh, Chris's in it. But, like, that's how much he, he costs, you know? And it's like, you could have made ten movies. Like, you could have given ten film students, like, more money than they ever could have imagined. And they would have made you something amazing and enduring and, like, artistic. And it would have won so many awards. But you were like, no, we'll spend $200 million on an uninspired movie that just... Why? Why? It's... It baffles me. It's why I'm kind of glad that Hollywood is, like being dismantled and disintegrating or alternatively being forced to come up with new shit, god forbid um actually let's investigate the area oh yeah, my reward slash wear a white yak skin 
Okay. I feel like this might be relevant. Oh. He got sick? Why? I'll do a little sleepy slap then. Sleep until nightfall. Man, that's so beautiful. Anyway, my point from like a billion years ago. Freddie Mercury is the best and will never be duplicated ever. All right. I wonder why he was sick. Like, whatever, I don't care on the merit of, like, he killed my entire family. But on the other hand, he's going to be my new friend. Let's see, he went this way. So I have to damage him and then tame him, I think. I might wanna I might wanna resummon Maybe even get the cave bear in here. Just on the merit of that he'll draw aggro, you know. Oh he sharpened his claws. His little that kitty claws. <laughs> Kasha Tigri's home. Does that just mean sharp tiger? Elderwood. Reads. Like, they often keep making bows, like, thicker and tougher looking. I love a good skinny bow, you know? Like, I love how simple Takara's bows are. They're sticks, man. That's great. Come on, am I not getting in here? Really? I can see things back there. Trap. Hmm. It's kind of eerie just being out here alone. Great beast traps. Wounded or mobilized. Hell yeah, I love that. Oh, man. oh stepped in the fire. Oopsie doopsie. Yep, that's a big fight. Guaru Guashla. Dun dun winja bagwai. Mash hasar. Right. Where's that trap spot I talked about? I really like that idea. Tapirs. Blood, huh? Oh, that's the tape here. He must have been attacked by something, and then he bled out. Interesting. And then meanwhile, this is going up here. Or is it? I think it is. 
I love this feeling. I love the feeling of hunting things. And yet somehow I didn't enjoy Monster Hunter. Spike trap. Here we go. Cool. What did that take? I hope it was Alderwood. Wow, they got bodied pretty hard, huh? Become a powerful ally. Takar is caring despite his gruffness. Holy shit, that's him, huh? Um. Come on, step in the spike trap. I said it just for you. Oh. You're gonna be named Grizzles, I think. Watch that, Grizzles. That crunch. Yeah, draw aggro. Oh, man. Get him! Oh, fuck. Wow. Oh, I hit him. I'm gonna keep chasing. Might be able to head him off. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Panthers! Crunchwrap, go! Find a bed and rest until nightfall. Guess I lost him. Was a sporting hunt though. That was radical. I think I'm hearing people beat on things upstairs. All right, you, my friend. Hold on. Hey, hold still. You need some chomp, my man. Uh, 
good little bear boy. Oh, rub his big head. Bears look so friendly. It's honestly not even fair that they're so evil. You know, they're the number one problem in America. <sighs> My wife should be getting home sometime soon. I can't wait. All right. Now we just got to find a bed and take a little sleepy slap. Man, we roughed him up pretty good. Good job, Grizzles. Barely even remember that other animal I had. What was his name? Gandalf? I don't miss him every day. Certainly not. Yeah, it's really safe just to leave a big-ass spike trap right there. I don't know if someone's going to come back for it, you know. Like, you know how, like, the perfect crime is to, like, go to a different city... Like, that has nothing to do with your own city, and, like, for no reason, just kill someone. Like, just because, straight up just because. But, like, they could figure out that, like, you were gone for, like, a week, and that was weird. But, like, the actual perfect crime would be, like, crime would be, like, to set a trap somewhere, you know? No one would ever know. They would have no idea. Like someone, like some hunter or something just wouldn't come back from the woods one day. And everyone would be like, oh, a bear probably got him or something. And then, like, out of out of nowhere, they would, like, find the corpse. And they're... <laughs> this is so fucked up to talk about. They would just, like, find, like, a, like, an oak stake, like, pierced through his chest. And everyone would be like, fuck, what the... Jesus. This guy got maimed by a trap. And they'd, like, try to find, like, fingerprint it, but, like... That'd be a good episode of CSI, honestly. Like, everyone's trying to fingerprint it and figure out what the hell it is, but, like, it's been outside for a couple of weeks. And, like, the body has as well, so, like, no one knows anything about it. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Fuck, I really like this game, y'all. Oh, man. This time it won't get away. Like, you know how, like, the ultimate battle is between, and like, any god and Batman with time to plan. That's Takar, you know? Takar with time to set up traps and get ready. Indestructible. Wow, I wish I could ride that thing. The good news is at least I'm keeping pace with him. Oh, man. Bait. Bait, okay. Whoops. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at that motherfucker. This is your room, huh? It's pretty cool. Oh, wow. That was an awesome quest. Like, yeah, some of my favorite, like, moments of, like, Monster Hunter are, like... Taming dudes. Yeah, like taming, uh, or not taming, like the chase. Like when you damage a monster and like it turns to run and like everyone's trying to keep up with it but also trying to do damage and like people with range have options. Like do they stay? Do they chase? You know, if, they, if they're still, then they might like be able to catch up and damage them more. If they're not, like who knows? So let's take a look at this map from up here. So we've now reached another corner of it. But I think I know where we're going. <whistles> you can both pet and ride them, that's useful. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Pretty damn fast. We've already crossed over a hundred uh, blocks or whatever it is. Hopefully he's not gonna hurt. Not just refuge. Oh god, it's it's an absolute slobber knocker. <laughs> like that dude shouting Wenja was the biggest mistake he'd ever made. If he had just shut up, he he might be alive. Even with that detour. Move like 300 blocks. I don't know if it's meters or like yalms, feet maybe. Feet are pretty primitive, feet and miles. Th I thought that was a human, sorry. Didn't mean to run your little savory toothy teeth into there. There we go. Right. No one will think to look for me for down here, so may as well scope the joint. Or case the joint, rather. Pardon me. Oh, wow, it's a lot further away than I thought. Yep. 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 Are you killing things up here without me, dog? Man, what if loot was like randomized? Like you could kill a tapir and get like a tiger skin off of it. All right, let's bag him and tag him. This looks to be a pretty big one. You get him, I'm thinking. And then that'll cover my entrance. Okay. Let's 
stone galu bonfire. Go ahead and take him. Wow. Easier than I would have thought. Oh, they're cooking their stone on a hot rock. Yeah. Heat that shit up. Hell yeah. <sighs> but apparently that didn't count as doing it non, like, completely hidden. Oh, well. Let's go check out the stash. Ooh, 95. Hot diggity. Um... So where we said Nash here? Still need rare feathers. I guess leopard skin would be in this area of the map. Uh oh. Well, fantastic. I now don't get cold. Uh, mm, I should I should wait. I should wait. Yep, I need badger skins for Takar as well. And then I'll be done with that. And Takar's thing gives me. I don't know. Something, I guess. Whereas this would only give me throwing shards. I don't really use throwing shards a lot, so. Then I just need cave bears and deer. Okay. Yeah, let's find that stash then, huh? Then me and my new friend... I'm going to call him Tiny. That's a good cat name. Especially for one so big and chompky. Okay, it's good. You're a big boy, aren't you? See, I could actually go do that off camera, and that might be wise. Great scarred bear hunt. Oh yeah, I need more of these for something as well. I have forgotten what it was though. Willie, there it is. And that'll be useful. I don't throw spears a lot. Probably should, but... It's fine. Tiny, you are awe-inspiring. Whoa! Jesus. That's a pad shitter right there. I'll tell you that for three and a half. Puga. God, it just does that sometimes. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening. I'm hitting the button to jump, and it's jumping me up. Yeah, and then it hits the button to climb. Come on, bring it on. Takara's ability to snatch arrows out of things is fantastic. Woolly rhinos are pretty dangerous. Can't lose that. Come on. Yes. Now tell me that was a leopard. Yes. 
Jaguar. Alright. Now that was what I wanted, right? Blue Rhino, hell yeah. Oh, I know what's happening. Whoops, thought that was something else. Throwing spears. Whoa, it's a super rare one. That's cool. Throwing spears is like shockingly useful. Now we need to track down another rhino. God damn, you are a scary motherfucker. All right. Let's hit that shit, yo. Oh, I actually need to kill more. Maybe it's only certain animals I get double skins from. Or maybe it's not even skins I get, it's just hide. Alright, you need a little extra. Alright. This dude needs to die right here. Fuck. Man, they sound so... Oh, Jesus. That ain't good. Help me. Help me, Tiny. Oh, please. Help me, my boy. You should probably just run away. It isn't going to be worth it, man. There was some blood over. Found it. What up, guys? Just running through the woods on fire with my god beast, killing things. It makes me proud to own a computer that can, like, render this shit. Like, this game looks so good. And the fact that my, like, laptop can run it, that makes me feel good, you know? Where did this thing go? It's comforting, very comforting to know that, like, the biggest thing in the wilderness, that big scary growl, that's my friend. That's my boy. Fuck. Sorry. Alright. And you get some meat, my good boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, I think I hear my wife home, so that's probably a good place to stop the episode. Um. And yeah, I should... Oop. One mo. Alright, let me see if there's anything I can drop off back at home. No, still need badger skins, south maple. 
And a bunch of shit. And these two guys. Let's throw all this. Cave bear and deer. Well, that's a pretty good session for recording. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. I've been Alfred. This has been Far Cry Primal. Have a good day. See you guys later.